Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. The world is paying attention to the dam. At 8 a.m. local time in China on the 16th, the water level of the Three Gorges Dam was 158.13 meters. Compared to the water level on January 5th, it is a rise of 4 centimeters. On the storage side of the Three Gorges Dam, the water level is around here. At 8 o'clock, the discharge of the Three Gorges Dam was 6,190 cubic meters per second. The amount of discharge during this time has remained constant. The maximum discharge of hydroelectric power at this dam is about 30,000 cubic meters per second. Therefore, it is estimated that the Three Gorges Dam has a power generation status of about 21%. There are probably 6 to 7 turbines in operation. As always, check the current water level. The water level was around 160 meters for a while, but now it's stagnant around 158 meters. The water level hardly changes. If you compare the data from last year and the year before, you can see that the water level is still more than 10 meters lower. 2023 has begun. Over the past two years they have gradually lowered the water level towards June 10th. I'm not sure if this year will go as I expected. Nishi Yan Channel Here is the extraordinary news. China ends ban on imports of Australian coal. Reuters reports. According to an article in the Wall Street Journal on the 12th, China has effectively ended its ban on Australian coal imports. A week ago, China's National Development and Reform Commission allowed three domestic power companies and a steelmaker to resume importing coal from Australia. This is the first import of Australian coal since the 2020 unofficial ban. So far, we have told you that China has ended its ban on imports of Australian coal. Well, let's take a look at the news today. Due to the trade friction between the United States and China, coal imports from Australia were throttled, resulting in a drastic decrease in coal imports. In 2019, Australia closed 28% of China's coal imports. It's actually closer to 3%. By the end of 2020, power shortages have taken a toll on citizens' lives. Electric stoves with high power consumption are prohibited. Citizens reported various reports, such as that street lights and traffic lights had gone out. Three years later, China quietly resumed imports from Australia. That's why China needs good quality coal. This is a graph of the annual water level of the Three Gorges Dam. Until June, it was in the phase of lowering the water level. From July to August, the amount of rain gradually increases. As the amount of water flowing into the dam increases, they respond by increasing the discharge rate. Even so, the water level gradually rises due to the large inflow. At the end of the flood season, they raise the water level to 175 meters due to hydropower and irrigation water for the following year. Although there are some deviations, it looks like this every year. Various problems have been pointed out at the Three Gorges Dam, as covered in this channel. They don't mention any of the potential concerns I have, such as the climate impact, the large amount of trash, the negative impact on the ecosystem, and the persistent sand problem. They claim that the dam is operating safely, but I doubt it. The annual precipitation around the Three Gorges Dam is as follows, 2023 has begun. Last year was a historic lack of rain in China. As you can see, from January to April they can't expect any rain. What will the rainfall be like this year? As far as this channel has investigated, the area covered by the Three Gorges Dam is the red line. Check out windy. Light clouds are expected over the next few days around and upstream of the Three Gorges Dam. Widespread rain clouds, but after that they can hardly expect rain. Resolving water shortages in downstream areas will take time. The height of the dam is limited to 185 meters. The Three Gorges Dam has various problems. Originally, the Three Gorges Dam was supposed to be built mainly for flood control, but along the way, roles such as hydroelectric power generation and operation of large ships were added. 
If the water level is lowered too much, it will affect hydroelectric power generation and large ships will not be able to pass through. Therefore, the water level cannot be lowered below 145 meters. Although the dam is 185 meters high, the flood control range is only 30 meters for power generation and water transport. At this 30 meters, we have to raise and lower the water level to survive the summer flood season. Now, in Pakistan, there is news that a new dam has begun to store water. I'm really happy to solve the power shortage, but I can't let go. This new dam was built as one of the Belt and Road projects in China. China money is involved. Moreover, the place where the dam was built is bad. It was built in the Kashmir region. It has been a conflict area with India for many years. I hope that it will not be a confusing story because it is a case that may damage the stability of the region. By the way, I wonder if this business will not be affected by the usual debt traps. There are rumors that it is trapped in various countries. Sun Yat-sen first envisioned the construction of the Three Gorges Dam. Let's make a dam in the first place. It was Sun Yat-sen who said. He is also called the father of the Chinese Revolution. The dam concept was conceived in 1919 in a business plan. We have set up an organization called the Yangtze River Water Conservancy Committee and started a preliminary survey. However, without being realized, the one-party dictatorship of the Communist Party begins. In the era of Mao Zedong, the current Changjiang Water Resources Commission was established in Wuhan and started pre-construction surveys, but the actual construction decision will be made in 1992. Construction started in 1993 and was completed in 2009. It was 90 years after his conception. It's already the dry season. Last year, heavy rains and floods continued, and there was fear that the dam might collapse. This year, things are completely different. Conversely, this year has been a drought, and the state of extremely low water continues. Please continue to subscribe to our channel for the latest information.